July 16th. On this day we commemorate the memory of Saint Vladimir, the great prince of Kiev and equal to the apostles. Grandson of Saint Olga, Saint Vladimir ascended the throne of Kiev in 980. Though a zealous idolater, he was illuminated by the grace of God, accepted the Christian faith and completely changed his ways. He was baptized in Kherson in 988, receiving the name of Basil. He came forth from the font not only healed of a blindness lately afflicting him, but also from being passionate and warlike, and he became meek and peaceable and exceedingly godly. Whereas his grandmother had refused marriage with the emperor in Constantinople, he married Anna, the sister of the emperors Basil and Constantine, and was accompanied home by priests from Constantinople. Diligently seeking to spread Christianity throughout his realm like a new Constantine, he destroyed the idols, having the chief deity, Perun, scourged and then cast into the Dnieper River, and he summoned all his subjects to receive holy baptism. Saint Vladimir reposed in peace in 1015. Blessed is our God, O Lord, is known forever the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere in filling all things, treasure of blessing and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Seeks a goodly pearl of glorious sovereign Vladimir, sitting on the height of the throne of the mother of cities, God protected Kiev, searching and sending to the imperial city to know the orthodox faith that its fine Christ, the priceless pearl, who chose thee as a second fall and who shook off thy spiritual and bodily blindness in the holy font. Wherefore we who are thy people celebrate thy falling asleep. Pray that thy land of Russia be saved, and that all orthodox people be granted peace and great mercy. That which had been hewn down, cut through the undivided, and the sun saw land which it had not seen before. The water engulfed the cruel enemy, and Israel traversed the impassable, and chanted the hymn, Let us sing to the Lord, for gloriously is he glorified. Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. O Word, who are also without beginning, the creator of the four elements of old, 
who by them is bound together the whole world. Lose thou my soul, which has been bound by the passions, the joining chorus, I may him the glorious Prince Vladimir. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Master, who from the heavens descended immaterially upon the spiritual mountain, send down abundant radiance from on high upon the souls of us who make supplications, that we may praise the wondrous Prince Vladimir as his means. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mistress, thou art the boast of mothers and virgins who gave birth to life and the Creator of the world, yet didst not experience the pain of childbirth, and though thou art a mother, thou hast remained a virgin. Wherefore, praising thee, we cry out to thee, Rejoice. My heart is established in the Lord, my horn is exalted in my God, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies, I am glad in thy salvation. Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. Like a clarion of godly tone, thy spiritual tongue sounded forth, O blessed one, announcing to all the ends of the Russian land the baptism of Christ's orthodox faith and illumined thereby thou hast enlightened the whole world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thine all-glorious memory shines forth today in our orthodox hierarchs and all the Christian people whom thou didst lead to the noetic light, is celebrated, praising thee as their forefather. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The shadow of the law passes away because of thy childbirth, O Thotokos, when came the grace of Christ, O God, the word of the Father, and the glorious Prince, acknowledging him, has splendidly adorned thy church. Ever keeping vigil in prayer with joyous soul of Vladimir, thou didst therefore draw forth the wisdom of the Spirit from the wellspring which comes down from on high. Wherefore, shining like the sun with faith and praying unceasingly to Christ, taste thou with all speed, O compassionate one, to save the world from transgressions. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure Theotokos, who knewest not wedlock, who gavest birth without seed to the Master of all, Entreat him with the angels that we be delivered from our perplexity, and that he grant compunction and light to our souls, and cleansing of offenses, in that thou alone dost quickly help. With noetic eyes the prophet Habakkuk foresaw thy coming, O Lord, Wherefore he cried aloud, God shall come out of Haman. Glory to thy power, glory to thy condescension. Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. Radiant and sweet is the sun of heaven after it has been covered by a cloud, and gladsome and joyous is the spring after the sorrow of winter. And thou, O Vladimir, hast through baptism shone forth upon us like the radiant sun after the cloud of the gloom of idolatry. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On the road to Damascus, Saul the Pharisee was struck blind by a small measure of the radiance of the great light, but his sight was restored in baptism, as thou hast become his emulator, O glorious one, who, having travelled to Korsun, didst dispel the darkness from thine eyes. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O virgin, thou hast been shown to be an unwatered root, putting forth our deliverance in giving birth to Christ, O God, the radiant fruit. Illumine my soul, which has been enshrouded in gloom by the passions, and ask for me remission of sins. Grant us peace, O Lord our God, O Lord our God, take us for thy possession. O Lord, we know none other than thee, we call upon thy name. 
Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. Rejoice and adorn thyself in spirit, O great Prince Vladimir, for thou hast offered to Christ an excellent and divinely planted science, thy fruit of godly excellence, the glorious Boris and the pious glove, and standing with them before Christ, Pray thou in our behalf. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Isaiah foretold wondrous things for Jerusalem. It shall manifestly be the mountain of God, and his dwelling place above the mountains. And we have rightly understood the grace of the Spirit which is upon thee. Thou didst build a house for the Master on the summit of a mountain. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Spirit, Isaiah, proclaim wondrous things concerning thee, who, though a virgin, would give birth to Christ without seed. And David, your ancestor, wondrously proclaim thy mighty works, for Christ hath saved us in that he is merciful. Like the waters of the sea am I tossed about by the waves of life, O thou who lovest mankind. Wherefore, like Jonas, I cry to thee, lead up my life from corruption, O compassionate Lord. Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. Thou as an emulator of the piety of the glorious Emperor Constantine, who enlightened the Greek nations with baptism of Vladimir, for thou didst all gloriously renew thy people with the labor of the Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having sweetened thy soul with the love of Christ, and received no wetting wings, thou didst so far above the darkness of the idols, and didst drive away the gloom of false belief. O blessed one, making thine abode in the bridal chamber of God, the Saviour of all, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox hierarchy and the right-believing people of Russia are of good cheer today on the all-radiant memorial of Vladimir, blessing thy seedless birth, giving, O Virgin, and earnestly entreating thy Son, they cry out, Thee do we magnify. Emulating the great Apostle Paul in thy maturity, O most glorious Vladimir, and putting aside all thy zeal for idols as childish thoughts, thou hast adorned thyself with the purple robe of divine baptism. And standing now in gladness before Christ the Saviour, pray thou that Russia thy land be saved, and that peace and great mercy be granted to the Orthodox people. O Christ God, who of old enlightened Israel with the law of Moses, Thou hast illumined the world by the advent of thy coming, and hast sent thy divinely eloquent disciples to preach throughout all lands thy seedless nativity from the Virgin. And thou dost command them to baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And seeing the Russian land grown old in sin, that it send forth thy spirit to the soul of the glorious Vladimir, mighty of mind, that he might acknowledge thee, Christ God, as one of the Trinity, and by thy baptism might enlighten thy chosen people, those entrusted by thee to him, and lead to thee those who cry out with faith. Deliver thine inheritance from the pagan enemy. Deliver thine inheritance from the pagan enemy. Quenching the most pernicious power of the Chaldean furnace, the youths cried out to the Creator who had descended in the guise of an angel, Blessed and praised art thou, O God of our fathers. Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. The enemy, the destroyer of souls, stripped me of the divinely woven raiment of my forefathers. But Jesus, the one who is without beginning, who appeared in the flesh, cleansing me with the water of the Spirit, has granted it to me again. And acknowledging him, O glorious Vladimir, thou cries out in gladness, 
Blessed is the God of our Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having kept the law of Moses, Daniel was vouchsafed divine vision, and thou, having trampled the idols of thy forebears underfoot, hast beheld Christ noetically with the Father and the Spirit, not in darkness, but in the greatest glory, and illumined by baptism thy cries out in gladness. Blessed is the God of our Father, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having deceived the first created ancestor, O Virgin, the enemy stripped him of his divine garment. But my sweet Jesus, who issued forth from thy pure womb, which knew not wedlock, has saved him, and the evil one hurling himself against God as against Adam, has wounded and wrought himself grievous injury. But we cry out to thy Son, Blessed is the God of our fathers. O thou who coverest thy chambers with waters, and settest the sounds as a bound for the sea, thee does the sun him, thee does the moon glorify, and unto thee does all creation offer him forever as to the Creator of all. Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. The generation of the righteous is blessed, declare the divine mouth, and this has been fulfilled in thee, O blessed one. Thou hast brought hallowed and divinely chosen seed to Christ, the invincible martyrs by whom thou hast enlightened the Russian land, and praising them with thee, we exalt Christ supremely forever. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. The city of Kiev has truly been shown to be the mother of all the cities of thy kingdom. For therein Christ was first glorified with the Father and the Spirit by thy grandmother and thee, O blessed one. And there thy valorous body lay in splendor in the church of our mistress, and we, thy people, praising thee, him Christ forever. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The voices of the prophets truly proclaim Emmanuel, the Father's effulgence and word, who is without beginning, who would be born of thee without corruption, God and man, the mighty expectation of the nations. Him do thou now entreat, O Mother, that we be saved. Heaven was stricken with awe, and the ends of the earth were amazed that God has appeared in the flesh, and that thy womb became more spacious than the heavens. Wherefore the ranks of men and angels magnify thee as the Theotokos. Saint Vladimir, pray to God for us. Of old, David was found to be the mighty king of Israel, and he saved the people, and casting down the gods of other nations, he proclaimed the Son of God through the Spirit. And thou didst acknowledge God in Trinity, O blessed Vladimir, him do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the chosen people of God celebrate thy memory today with gladness and sanctity in the Church of the Mother of God, which thou didst lovingly adorn as an earthly heaven, as an everlasting memorial of thy passing, for resting therein thou dost await the most awe-inspiring trumpets of the archangels, O Blessed One, wherefore we ever magnify thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All of us, the generations of man set afire by the Divine Spirit, bless thee with love, O Theotokos, for thou hast annulled the curse of our first mother, and we earnestly him God the word, for having received him in thy womb without being consumed. Thou gavest birth to him in the flesh, to him do thou now pray, that thy faithful flock be delivered from all want and grief. With thy glorious grandmother Olga, thou hast truly shown to be a beacon, enlightening the whole world with piety and faith, O Vladimir, who art crowned by God, and we glorify Christ who loves you and is wondrous in his sake. We 
sister, most holy mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. In Christ, O true God, in the praise of his holy and all pure mother, with the praise of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the praise of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, she so is the great brand and the navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Morlog, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of Saint Vladimir, the great prince of Kiev, the equal to the apostles, who in holy baptism was called Basil. With the prayers of the holy martyr, Lolius, with the prayers of the holy martyr Abudimus of the Isle of Tenedus, who was beheaded in the reign of Diocletian, with the prayers of our righteous mother Matrona of Chios, whose precious head was found on this day, with the prayers of the holy new Haro martyr Vladimir, archpriest of Lipsinsk, who was slain by the atheists in 1920, with the prayers of Saint Adelard the Younger, Saint Donald of Ogilvy, Saint Edith, and St. Plechem, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. Heard the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. The prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.